BART AI is the equivalent of ChatGPT from Google, and it has already been available for a while, but now they updated some stuff. So now the question is, do you still need to pay to have ChatGPT Plus, or is BART AI really as good as Google says? And is this gonna be the one and only chatbot that you still need in your life? Google drops waitlist for AI chatbot BART and announces oodles of new features. So it has new languages, dark mode, export functions, and visual search, and a lot more that they're adding to BART AI, things that ChatGPT doesn't have. So I want to show what BART AI can do and ChatGPT cannot do yet. It couldn't be easier to use BART AI. It's literally bart.google.com. And after you log in, you can keep the white team or you can go for the dark team. That's the one I will choose. Right now, BART AI is available in 180 countries, but in the EU, it's not yet available. So I have to use a VPN, for instance, to be able to try it out. If you're in the EU, just use a VPN and you can also try out BART AI. So let's ask the first question to BART AI. And this is honestly the biggest difference from BART AI and ChatGPT, because BART AI has access to the internet and has access to the now. ChatGPT only goes to 2021. So I can just ask BART AI, hi, can you give me a summary of the news of April 2023? Sure, here are some of the top news stories from April 2023. US economy shows sign of slowing. China's economy slows. It's all <laughs> not, not good news in April. Uh, we should have had more news about AI, I expected. So here is something that you can do right away that you cannot do with ChatGPT. So we have a button right here that says Google it. So if I press Google, it gives some search related topics, for instance, April 2023 news. And if you click on it and Google opens with actually this search result. So automatically you can go if you want more information and want to search on Google. And what you also can do, this is something that's just super nice to have because ChatGPT, if you create an answer and you want to save it somewhere, you have to copy, select it all and all that stuff. And here in BART AI, you have this button right here, export response. I can either do draft in Gmail or export the docs. If I press that one, it's just creating a document, new document created, I open it. And then here we just have all the text and the prompt is the title of the file. So super nice to use. This is really such a little thing, but it's just so convenient, you know? And the second thing that Bard AI can do that you cannot do with ChatGPT is this button right here, the use microphone. So if I press this, I'm just gonna press allow. Hey Bart, can you let me know what weather it will be next week in the Netherlands? Filled in the whole text so you don't have to type, you can just talk to it. And I got all the answers. So you can imagine when this is implemented in your phone in the future, when you use Bart AI as an app, you can just talk to it, you will get all your answers back. And this is truly the start of having like a true AI assistant that you can ask anything at any time. It's like a Siri or Google Assistant plus 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 you know it's the next evolvement this next level and it's pretty crazy so here i got the results the weather forecast it's in fahrenheit i'm gonna ask if they can do it in celsius can you change the degrees in celsius so here we got the answer it's all very nice i all have the information and of course when you're on the computer then typing is easier it's faster you know except if you want to write the whole story to bart ai but in the future when you have to your phone it's going to be next level and because BART AI has access to the internet, you can ask it questions about websites and about news articles and all that stuff. For instance, I have here the first article about BART and I can just copy the link. Can you give me five highlights from this article? And again, you can copy the whole article, paste it in ChatGPT and it will give you the same results. It is just more convenient to work with a chatbot like this. So here we got sure, here are five highlights from the article. Google has removed the wait list. It has the potential uses for writing, translation, coding, and research. It's still in early stages, but it has the potential to be a powerful tool for a variety of tasks. What I notice now is just convenience, you know? It's so easy to use BART. I can export it to docs. You can get live information, communicate with other websites like this, and it's just very nice to do. Another function that BART AI has is few other drafts. So here we got the answer, right? So we got the answer, it's looking good. It's already nice, but here in the top right, you see few other drafts. If I click on that, you see that it has three drafts. So right away, each time you ask a question, you already get three answers. So you can select this one. If you want a different one, you can select draft three. Then you have again, a slightly different answer. So 
you can make it as perfect as you want. In my previous video, I shared all the information of the AI tools Google is gonna launch soon. You can watch that video right here or there's a link in the description. But what I mentioned there also is in the future, Bart is gonna be connected to so many tools. It's gonna go be connected to Spotify. It's gonna be connected to Adobe Firefly, Walmart, so many, so many different tools. So you can imagine that you're using Bart and you use it to generate the image. Then you ask for a song on Spotify. It's just gonna be some AI chatbot help. I would say AI assistant, that's gonna be next level that we're gonna have in our phone and it's just gonna make our life so much easier. And of course, it's easy to say Bart AI is gonna do everything. So let's ask one question in Bart, also in ChatGPT and in Perplexity Chat to see what kind of answers we get in different tools. I'm gonna ask what would be the best camera smartphone under $700? So I ask it in Bart, ask it in ChatGPT and Perplexity AI is kind of the other big chat tool. So let's ask it there as well. So Bart let us know that Google Pixel 7 is good, OnePlus 11, iPhone SE. I am a bit of a phone geek and I know that the Pixel 7 has very good camera, but of course Bart is from Google. So are they gonna push the Google Pixel more? I don't know. So perplexity has a bit outdated information to be honest, because the Google Pixel 6a is good, but it's way under the $700 limit. And the Google Pixel 7 is already way better and newer. So it seems like they have a bit outdated information. They do give the links right here, so I can click on one, let's see. And they, you see for instance here, they also say the Pixel 7a. So it seems that they just get some old information right here. And of course the ChatGPT only has old information. So the phones are gonna be old recommendations. So for this one, Bart AI wins. But let me ask another question to all these three tools. So I'm gonna ask, can you inspire me with three healthy vegan breakfast bowls recipes? So let's see, perplexity is super fast and it gives super short answers. So we're gonna get the savory vegan breakfast bowl with roasted potatoes, scrambled tofu, fresh salsa. Another breakfast bowl with well, kind of exactly the same. It seems very similar. It's just going for all the same savory bowls. So I'm curious if we're also gonna get the sweet from, from ChatGPT. We have an acai bowl and we got all the instructions. Then here we have a tofu scramble breakfast bowl, which is also nice. That's like the same one that we got from Perplexity. What did we get here? Oh, we only got two. Oh no, we got the coconut chia pudding breakfast bowl. Actually, ChatGPT did very well here. Three very different recipes. So I'm curious what Bart AI is gonna present to us. Okay, so Bart AI gave us also three healthy vegan breakfast bowls. First one is sweet potato and black bean breakfast bowl. It's nice, you know, healthy. That's the second one, oatmeal with berries and chia seeds. Also very healthy, tofu scrambled breakfast bowl. So it's also giving me three different ones. It's all giving me the instructions. So Perplexity did the worst and ChatGPT and Bart AI both did very well. So right now the question, should you still pay for ChatGPT? I don't know, honestly, Bart AI is getting up there and it's still experimental. So you can imagine it's only gonna get better and better and better. And especially because it's gonna have the connections with all your other tools, it's gonna be on your phone. It is up to date with the internet. Those are quite a couple of good points for Bart AI and pretty scary for ChatGPT. So let me know in the comments, are you gonna try out Bart AI since it's free? Also subscribe because I make a lot more AI content videos. See you next time.